Right, we're going to be changing my license plate. Uh, when I do the vehicle testing, one of the errors that keeps coming back, I haven't done it with this car because it's a uh, car bought second hand. I can see from the records and data that one of, the, one of the errors that keep coming back is it keeps saying that the license plate is damaged but it's still readable. So they're on about all these cracks on here. So I've got a new license plate, this is the UK. Best place I can think of, first place, well, first place that comes to mind is Halfords. I'm not a Halford steward, uh, the one near me that does do a couple of pounds is 16 pounds for us. Now, I'm showing you this letter because you need everywhere, I mean, they don't drill a hole in it. So, you need to you need to locate where where the hole is on your particular car, where they where, where to where to put the screw, and it's individual, right? So usually, usually you aim for the let, the, the black letter, and usually that's where they aim for to drill the hole. Um, here is a small cap underneath here. You see a cross plane Phillips screw. Now. Note the difference between that one and this one. This one, the cap is missing. Uh, you know, luckily, I got the other side to check that. That's the fillet. Who knows what could it be? I'm not even sure. So, I might have to draw this side out. So, get your new plate. <clears throat> it comes. The new plate comes with a film. That's my letter Z. Comes with a film and. Uh, they say to peel it off before you drill, but I'm thinking to myself, uh, logically, either I'm just going to eyeball this, see if it's the same as the old one, the position of the letter. If it is, basically drill it in the same area where the L and the Z is, and then just move it along. I can see, I can just by eyeballing it, I can see it's not exactly the same. But the width of the letter, I'm going to check now. Right, looking at it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim the one of the screws for this Z here. The other one's going to be in the yellow somewhere because it's not the same width. So what I'm going to do is I've only got these black these black caps. I didn't think to get a yellow one. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the black ones on and then paint it yellow. See anything? I'll go back and show them. Yeah. Worked out why this old license plate cracked. Because as I did this, I realised that the license plate was clamped onto a curve. So of course, if you're clamping something onto a curve, you're bending it all the time. And uh, what's going to happen is when the sun bakes on it, it's going to crack. Simple as that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I put some rubber washers underneath once I take this off. So the, obviously the right side is fairly straightforward. And I'm going to keep an eye on this screw to see which screw I need for the other side because the other one's so rusty I can't see what it is. So as simple as it's just come off. I'm going to keep the screw to make sure I know what the other screw is I need for the other side. Too rusty. Try rotating it. I'm doing the easy thing first. Just want to have it. So I'm going to drill it. Now I'm just thinking that probably the easiest easiest way is to is to patch over the hole. Keep one hole and then use the other and then just. Basically, drill straight through. Drill straight through a small hole on the letter L as well on the other plate. Patch up one hole, keep one hole, and drill straight through the other one. What are they? High speed steel. So, not very good ones. Then we get some better drill bits. Proper 
Bell bulk drill bits, slightly smaller, 3.5. Slow speed. You know, WD for the toilet. I tried uh, using a set of to turn the thing. I didn't want to turn it out of the way. Alright, so, as soon as I drilled it, a bit more, the head fell off. Which meant I can twist this thing out, just the screw. Um, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to patch that hole up. Find this up, hole street clean there. Yeah. Yeah, I need to hole street, obviously. Really useful, loads of things. Use it on bird stain, yeah, bird poo stains. Something like this. That cuts the grease. That hole there, I'm going to use some spray cleaner to get rid of that fluid. I'm not putting that screw back on. Got fluid in it. Okay. Shine it up with some demon shine so it doesn't look strange. In comparison to the Parts of the car, we'll find it up. Looks like someone tried to make a little dent or two little dents in it for some reason. Would you recommend it? I don't know. No. I reckon that's even that, that plate could be a replacement plate. Not one I took off. It says World's Strongest Bond's been tested. I'm just mixed a little bit. I guess one's white, one's uh, black, so you end up with a great mixture, which is all right. The trick is, how am I gonna get it in that tiny little space? Plug it in and then clean up afterwards, I guess. Something like that. We do a bit more in there. If this was metal, I'll punch the uh, plastic first. I'm just going to eyeball it. All in the middle. Same drill bit. Drill quite well. Put the wood underneath, of course. Uh, 
fractured the laminate underneath slightly and press that back in using finger pressure see where it kind of popped open the laminate underneath see so just make that just big enough for the screw it's going to need a four I think a lot better now. Funny white patch is gone. Should be fine. Right, so we need up just putting some tape over it and letting it harden that would be fine. So much of that can't be weld on that you know it should be fine. Right. Time to put put on the right hand side of the I put two rubber washers behind Washers. Yep. I only need rubber washers on one side. Let's lift it off on that side. Fine with me. I might even tighten it. See that? I'm gonna hold. Hold it upright. Help me hold it upright anyway. So. Easy as that. Right, I've eyeballed it straight. Okay, here's the L. Remember what happened last time, it kind of cracked it underneath. I've taped it. I think high speed might be better. Less pressure, high speed. Here we go, there's my hole. <coughs> that was a three. Now the four. Rubber washers on the back of this one as well. And them star shaped screws up there. You think they look like a self tapping? So when they're fairly tight, don't want any water getting in anywhere. And that is it. So, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, I'm not really a subscriber. Please think about being a subscriber. Thanks for watching, leave a comment.